one last away fixture for the Caledonian and Braves in the 2023-24 London League season. Today here in Gala Shields, we're facing off against Gala Faraday and Rovers. The rain has been pouring down here at Neverdale ahead of kickoff, so hopefully it does dry off before the start of the match. And a chance for the Braves to make up a fourth straight victory. Two of those victories coming in the league. Last week it was against Adelaide University, a 4-2 win for the Braves as we want to pick up a few points in the late stages of the season. For the Braves, it'll be Bernie White in goal, Jack Brown at right back, Daniel Martins, Greg Stewart, and Scott Kuzik at left back today. Midfield, Christian Geck with John Guthrie. On the wings, Aidan Clotty and Cammy Bredner. Kieran Spear starts at number 10, supporting Ross McNeil, coming off his four goal performance last week. And it will be Ross McNeil to get us underway here at Netherdale for our final away fixture in the London League this season. Braves kick from right to left, as I mentioned. It gives the ball to Kristen Geck, who rolls out to Scott Kuzik in the left-back position. Spin away and a bit of pinball in the middle of the park, sees the ball drop to Aidan Clockety. Lovely control there from Aidan to skip away from his man down the right-hand side. Aidan charging up now into the box and he's going to send a shot off. I mean, a great piece of play there by Aidan Clockety. Could have finished that one off after winning the ball back and getting away with that delightful spin. Potentially a good opportunity to test the goal of Bernie White here. Obviously, the player stands up. Catches it well, straight down the throat of Bernie White, pushes it away. It's kept alive in the middle. Here comes Christian Getka. Takes too long to get it clear, and it's one back on the press. In the box here, a shot comes off. It's blocked well by Greg Stewart. Greg's ready, not doing well to clear the lines here. And eventually, Christian Getka gives away a corner there, and he had a chance to get the ball away and clear. Probably thought about trying to keep a hold of that free kick. It was down the middle of him, took the safe option to parry it away, but. It does mean the pressure is kept on and this corner is clipped into the middle now. It's met well in the middle, straight over the goal of Bernie White. Braves do win the ball back in the press here. Christian Geck shoots from distance and he scored! And Christian Geck has got his first goal for the Cali Braves. And it's an absolutely fantastic goal from Christian there. The best part of 35 yards out. Goalkeeper will be disappointed to let that one in there, but... Christian Gecker will not care at all as he's caught that one fantastically to catch the goalkeeper out there. Sent it to the back of the net there and I think the goalkeeper thought he wasn't going to be able to hold on to it there so just push it over his goal but can't keep it alive and Christian Gecker absolutely fantastic there to get his first goal for the club. For option they've got two players in their back four today that have played that central midfield role on a number of occasions this season. We're back defending here as goal. I've got the ball at the edge of the block. Powerful shot comes off and that one looked like it could have been flying into the near post. Bernie White watches it all the way. I wasn't entirely sure if he had got a touch onto it. But it does look like it was a big save from Bernie White. That was my initial reaction there. And B teams aren't allowed to get promoted in the division, so no matter what, it'll be East Kilbride, but you certainly do fancy them to wrap up the title. We've got a few games in hand as well to do that. It's Cammy Breddon looks to attack down the left hand side, and he's done really well here, Cammy. Sends across Ross McNeil, who scores! And the Braves got their second goal here, and it's Ross McNeil firing in from close range. Four goals last week, and he's managed to get another one today. And that's the crucial second goal in this game. And it's Ross McNeil who's on fire at the moment. Great play by Keane Spears to get away from his man here. Advancing up the right-hand side for the Braves. He's going to cut inside himself now, Keane, and... Perhaps just try to take on one too many there as loses the ball, but Christian Gecker wins it straight back for the Braves. Out to the Cammy Brennan on left, shoots left footed, the goalkeeper gets his hands down low and pushes it out for a corner. Opposition with the ball at the back here. Clip it out, Aiden Clotty, great play to intercept here, Aiden. He's stepping forward here, Aiden. Gives it to Matty Collins. Cammy Bredner in the box now. Bredner. Just over the bar there from Cammy. He's probably deserved to go over his play today down that left hand side. So dangerous once again. Can quite keep that one down. Other right hand side and close for the Braves there to get in the third goal, which would well and truly kill off any hopes of a miraculous comeback here. Great play from Christian Gecker to win it back. And John Guthrie will give it to Cammy Brennan. He might have a chance immediately up the left hand side now. Into the box, Cammy goes. On his left foot shoots, he scuffs that one as well, can't get that one towards the near post. Cammy's got his head in his hands there, he'll be desperate for a goal today, I'm sure, the way he's been playing. And Braves back into the shape, East Stalin should not seem to be in too much of a rush to get 
Clark here, as you would expect at this late stage of the game, and the Braves have won it back immediately. Matty Collins slips into Cammy Bredner at the edge of the box. He's got the run of it on his left foot, shoots! And the Braves have got their third. And Cammy Bredner's got his goal as well to well and truly put this game to bed as we hit around the 90th minute here. Cammy Bredner celebrates that one. And he'll be delighted to get his goal, I'm sure. And what a fantastic afternoon for the Caledonian Braves here. Our final away day of the season. And we'll lead by three goals to nil. This doesn't matter. As the full-time whistle is blown here. And it is a 3-0 victory for the Caledonian Braves. Convincing afternoon down here in the borders.